Rhino rucks are very handy. Good morning everyone, or oh, good evening or good afternoon. We've just arrived at Stockton Beach and we're just bringing some smaller seven foot, uh, seven foot, six foot nine rods to the beach. Um, just fishing for some YM brim, so. Hey guys, so I'm just tying a simple rig here, just with some uh, beach brim and whiting. So I'm just doing a normal, like a, don't know the size of it, but a size four, four sinker. Just a standard rig with a clinch knot. And then just tying it to a sweet uh, a swivel with a long leader, about 50 centimeters, 60 centimeters worth of leader. And then we just got a long shank hook and a little pink bead. That's just a standard rig, and hopefully you can catch some nice uh, beach size whiting and brim. So unfortunately, we can't go for the juice today. Um, I think all that fresh water and rain and the mix with the low tide um, has stopped us from getting any live bait of potty mullet or yakis. Um, so we're just going to be going for some standard wiring and we've also got a soft plastic ready for some um, juice. So fingers crossed. I actually um, just tied the swivel without putting a sinker on. Rookie error. Make sure you're always picking your tray off when you kind of off. Make sure you always put it just close out your pocket. Don't want any more of that inside the beach or water. Like four, like five o'clock in the morning. And we got here around, I'd say, it's like almost eight, seven, eight o'clock now. And we're just trying to go for plenty of mullet for the last hour, but couldn't catch crap all. So oh, I've done it again. It just keeps falling out. So today we're using beach worms and nippers. So not a lot of them, but uh, Hopefully when that tide rises, um, we can get a nice salmon or a tail off or a live bait or something like that. So, fingers crossed. And you can just see the amount of shells that are on this beach. It's just crazy, like, uh, the amount of shells that you get from this beach, it's crazy, so. But it's definitely uh, a bit annoying to walk on, so, but hey, we deal with it, so let's just hope when that tide rises that we can, uh, that hole or gutter in the sandbar opens up a little bit with more water, so that way more fish will come in and more of the bigger type of fish will start to come in, so. Here we go. Just going in for a flick for a dewy, hopefully, or a salmon or tail or anything really that will take this. Just got a, uh, soft plastic on, I think a Berkley 9 inch soft plastic and a pretty big hook as well. That's a Procyon uh, 5500 Daiwa and that is a Pen Battalion I think one rod. So hopefully we can catch a Dewey harder now or a little bit later so let's get into, let's get into it. Nearly just lost my GoPro. <laughs> you guys can just see that there's a massive hole, I guess. That's the gutter. And you got the sandbar behind. So we just cast at the sandbar. Like that. I lost a little bit of my nipper, but that's fine. And just basically just hold the line. So wait until you get any bites and I'll I'll let you know when I get one. The line's pretty tough. Is he big? Oh, it's alright size, yeah. He's a good size. Oh, he's a salmon, Brian. Oh, he's a good fish. He's an alright size. Good whiting. What's oh, another big one? Get your thing out now. Get your thing out now. Oh, wow. We're not taking nippers today. Good thing we got the good old worms. Oh, he's a stonker whiting. Look at the size of him. Yeah, 27 just. 
We've got a really good gutter here for high tide. Yeah, I know. I want to stay here. Yeah. Well, we're catching whiting at the moment. And I keep getting baited. But the good thing is my sink is light, so that helps me hook up. Yeah, I've hooked up. Oh, whiting. Another big one. He's another big boy. I bait up. He took the smallest piece of worm ever. Feels like a toad. Ah. Yep. Yeah, felt like it. Porky. Oh, he's a porcupine. Look at him. Jesus. Porcupine, eh? Give him a little clean in the water, see what he looks like. Oh, look at him. Oh, try to pull him bite me. You got full bait. Oh, that's good. All right, guys, so we've caught, uh, well, not me, because I haven't caught crap all with this, but. Ryan's caught two nice whitings, haven't measured them yet, but they are definitely legal, above 27. One, one of them is 27 centimeters, and the other two, I'm predicting plus 33 centimeters. Um, so, a couple of nice whitings today off the beach. Um, I think because it's flood tide, it's starting to slow down a bit. So, keep that in mind when you're fishing at beaches that sometimes it's not going to be consistently active with fish biting. So you just have to, I guess, wait patiently and be persistent on the um, fish you're catching. So, right now we're just barely in with some bread. Don't know if it works, but uh, hey, it's been working for us for the last couple of fish and whatnot. So, yeah, I'll keep you updated, but have a look at this. It is just amazing today. Oh, guys, always if you can, pick up plastic or pick up rubbish from the beach just because uh, well, it's actually a bit of a, a bit of a bone or something like that but make sure you always pick up plastic from the beach I guess we don't want our beaches even more destroyed all right so I'm moving places from where we originally were just because I'm not getting too many bites on my braid on my line just because I think I'm using mainly mono which is a lot harder to feel bites than braid so going to a I think a little calmer area now I'm not too sure if there's a there's no gutter here as far as I know but there is a sandbar at the back and I'm just using some nippers at the beach and let's see what I catch. Too small or nice point. Alright, so there's a dart school. Shall we go for dart now? No, uh, you can go for white, I'm gonna go back up to the Hey guys, so I just caught a dart off uh, off a piece of nipper on the little estuary rod. It's only a small one. Oh slime. A lot of slime, look at that. Oh, <laughs> but that's a dart. Oh, you got them on my face. <laughs> Sorry, mate. There he is. 